Welcome back, everybody. Um, new video. I have yarn. Uh, scissors. Some tape. Let's just say I'm going to figure out some aerodynamic things with the rally car in preparation for STPR rally in Pennsylvania. <laughs> End of June. Uh, 28th, 29th of June. Heading down there for a regional ARA event. And today I have my beautiful girlfriend Maddie filming and help me out today. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, babe. You're welcome. So, if you ever watched, most of you probably have, whoever's watching, has probably had, not had, watched Ford vs. Ferrari. And the one... The one scene where they have the computer in the car and they're just starting out and they're trying to get the GT40 or the GT whatever at the time and they called it the GT40 because it has to be 40 inches off the ground or whatever it was. But there was a scene where they were trying to figure out aerodynamics and the car was basically lifting on the front end and they figured out it was catching air so... What they did was basically, computer wasn't telling them good enough. They got a ball of yarn, the simplest, cheapest thing, rather than a $20,000 computer that didn't tell them nothing. Whatever it cost back then. And they basically taped yarn in strip sections, kind of all over the car, and basically took it around the track. And guys were watching with binoculars and... You know, seeing what the yarn was doing because they understood what aerodynamics did and what it needs to do for the car to make it properly and help fix the problem. So, I'm going to do a little experiment because why not? I'm curious with some GoPros, yarn, and a girlfriend. So, that sounded very <laughs> weird. Never mind. <laughs> not never mind. We're still using the yarn. I'm going to stop talking because, yeah, that sounded weird. I'm going to get it figured out. I did also get red yarn. Uh, this is the one point of the video. But also, the other point is, if you watched the last video, I got a bigger wing for the rear of the car. And um, I'm going to change out how the front lip is, the front splitter, how it be on... <laughs> <laughs> on the front of the car and basically uh, be within the rules of ARA in the measurements of how that's going to be. Um, so if you guys seen kind of the front splitter on WRC cars, Subaru rally cars, whatever it is, hopefully I'll put up a picture if I remember, or you'll see what I'm talking about by the part two of the video. Cause we're going to, it's probably going to be long video so we're going to do two parts uh part one part two duh um and obviously we're gonna start off with getting the yarn going i'm gonna go drive the car and hopefully i get enough speed where it has value put a couple of gopros on the car and see what we got so one way or another change in aerodynamics but just kind of show everybody what's going on. So we are going to get going and uh, get some stuff done. So time. <laughs>
righty. Cars in the garage. Right now, the next step is to start on the rear wing. All right. Sorry, I got distracted. But here, the new wing. And I did, I don't think I took any pictures before, just kind of sitting it on there. Even on my daily, uh, it was basically exact copy of this. Just my daily is a Mopar edition. This one's was a limited trim. So we, actually me right now, because girlfriend is home a couple days later, because, uh, you know, work, I finally got, grab the box where all the hardware came from uh get this wing off i'm gonna have to snip the wires for this light because this that does work so i'm gonna have to i'm also probably gonna have to plug some holes as well rtv or something um i'll figure out i'll figure out some way to go about it because there's three holes mounting here on each side and there's only two for the new wing on each side. Um, so I'm gonna have to plug that. But I'm gonna stop talking because it's telling me I've been talking for six minutes and not working. So let's get going.
man. I cannot wait to drive this car with this wing on. God, I hope this, no. All right, I had to make sure it wasn't above the roof. Um, no, I'll open the garage door real quick. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Not spooky at all. You know, middle of nowhere. <laughs> God. It's hard to tell, but oh with that rear diffuser, I mean I, I can't really tell, but I'll film it when it's in the light. For right now. I just hit my head. <laughs> oh, monkeys. Oh, man. Ow. Jeez. Okay. Uh, yeah, that getting hurt. Oh, all right. I'm going to close the door because I want to go outside. But. This is gonna be good. <sighs> All right, uh, this is gonna be the end of this video. Old wing. End of this video, or yeah, end of part one of this video. The next is the hell phone. Apparently, Alistair is like no. Um, so. Yeah, um, next video is going to be a proper rally style front splitter. Um, so we're going to see how that goes uh, because it's got a weird lip. I don't know if you can kind of see it right there. And it's not the splitter. Um, it's actually the bumper itself is kind of like that. Um, it's really, really hard to tell because <coughs> everything's kind of smooth, uh, but it is for sure. Um, I don't know what that scratch is from. Uh, for sure, um, it, it's quite aggressive. It's, it's that aggressive. Um, but I'm gonna end this, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to end this video. Um, oh, as well, I don't know if I announced in the last video, but I have became a Diode Dynamics ambassador. So I'm wicked excited about that. Um, you know, I had Diode Dynamic pro uh, products before even this, before even, you know, it becoming a thing because I have the motorsports um, bracket kit uh, with only you know one each, but they can hold two on each bracket. So um, this car, I have to take the headlight uh, LED bulb out of this car um, because my dad needed new bulbs. So I had I put <laughs> took out the diode dynamic. Uh, LED headlight bulbs out of this, put up my dad's car, daily car, uh, cause he has a dart as well. Um, so I need to get, you know, before the next rally diode dynamic, um, headlight bulbs in this, uh, you know, cause it's just regular ones and last minute, but, uh, Thanks for watching, uh, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Wait for part two to come out.